move forward with item 13C, which is council member comments from Mr. Key. Thank you, Mr. President. <coughs> I'll be brief. Longest week of my life, without a doubt. And I hope you understand I have obtained legal counsel. In this moment, I will not discuss litigation. I didn't come here for that. This is different. I came here to discuss me. Something I could have sent in an email, something I could have said maybe on social media, but I know this moment was necessary. I can't explain it. The depths of impact it's had, the reflections that have happened over the past seven days, but what you are looking at is the maturing of a man. A tough moment I cannot explain to you. So I'll be brief by saying this. First, I am sorry to every city employee, every director I've had lunch with, moves heavens and earth with to make difference in my community. I'm sorry to every police officer that was impacted, every city employee that was impacted by the ripple effects of situations in my life. That's not in your job description. I am sorry to every colleague who I've talked to personally who might have distractions, have been inundated with calls and cares and concerns and perspectives. That's not in your job description either. You are here to do the business of the city. I am also sorry to my family. I have a mother. I have a grandmother whose tears I wish I could give back. Sisters, brother, aunties and uncles. I'm so sorry that the ripple effects came to your phones, your social media, your doors as well. But most importantly, I'm sorry to my community because this was never about a man but the mission. One I believe in wholeheartedly. And right now as I speak to you from my heart, I love you. Because the spotlight that is on me should be on you at all times. And I will never stand in the way to be a distraction from the success that you are seeing. It is so easy to have no comment. It is so easy to hide. But in this moment, I will be accountable. Because of people who have prayed over me, people who have sent texts, phone calls, emails, describing how tough it is to sit in a seat like this, though maybe not as public as mine, having gone through tough times, I thank you. I renewed a focus into who I am as Devin Keith. And the only thing I can maintain is that in this moment, I promise to be a better man tomorrow than I am today. In the public eye. So, I didn't come here to discuss anything. That's what court is for. What I've owed you is accountability that I will never be distracting from the business of this great city, the greatest city just this side of heaven. And to the people who have prayed for me, I felt every prayer. I need him. For the people who have called me, though I might not have answered, I heard every word you wanted to tell me. I promise you, there will be a better Devin tomorrow than there is today. And it means so much to me that this community, the city of Huntsville, has imbued me the ability to call myself the District 1 City Councilman. You can still call me if I need to pave your street. And I will be accountable to every email of why your trash got picked up late. But after my comments today, I will not be a distraction. My colleagues will handle the business of this city and at this meeting, when I excuse myself, no, as I said before, you will meet a better Devin tomorrow than you did today. So no, if you're watching this, if somebody shared this with you, I love you. And I promise you, I'll see you soon. Thank you. And with that, I'm recusing myself for the rest of the meeting. God bless you all. Thank you, Mr. Keith.